Hey there everybody, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria with today's plank story. Uh, so, uh, I, I love planks, but if you wanna pick another move, anything will do. Uh, just try to do something that involves movement and I'll get the clock going. Here we go. All right, so when we first took out the RV, I, I didn't want to drive it per se. I don't, I don't love driving. I'm always happy to have someone else drive, but I felt like I should be able to drive it and I wanted to know that I could and to help Matt drive and, you know, just to be capable of it. Uh, and so the first time I drove it, I lasted about 10 minutes and I was like white knuckle, death gripping. My whole body was tense, not breathing. Uh, and after 10 minutes, it wasn't even just that I was nervous. I was exhausted, like felt like I'd run a half marathon, needed a nap, had sucked all my energy out driving this thing. And I was determined and I tried it again the next day and the next day and it, it quickly got easier. I would force myself to breathe. I would do breathing. I would like when I noticed myself getting tense, I would relax, but I was still really tense, especially when a tractor trailer truck passed me uh, or when one was coming on the on ramp and one was passing me. And the truth is, if you're doing 50 on the highway, you're getting passed a lot by plenty of tractor trailer trucks and other people. So it, it was just no fun. And I realized that what I didn't know about myself is apparently to self soothe in moments of tension, I would just start singing. So I made up a little song about holding the line because I always liked to go to the right and I needed to hold the line against the tractor trailer tracks. And I said to Matt one day when like, like I was doing it, I was like, I, you know, I'm doing this, it's okay, but I'm never going to like it and I'm never going to be comfortable and I'm just doing this to do it. But it, it will never be something I feel comfortable with. And he was kind of like, yeah, I mean, you just keep doing it. Uh, and then... There was this one day I was driving it and I realized I was completely relaxed. I was passing tractor trailer trucks as we went up hills if I kept my power better. I was fine on the turns because at first I really hated not just a turn but a curve in the road. If there was a slight bend in the road, I started singing. And uh, I, I realized I was relaxed and enjoying it and had this big, you know, window. So you had this great view. And I said to Matt, like, I can't believe it. Like, this is, I'm enjoying this. Like, I'm liking this. I feel totally comfortable. Uh, now, that wasn't perfect. Later that day, I drove in the night and there were a lot, there was lots of traffic and it was nerve wracking again. And it's not like every moment after that was perfect. But I actually got to a moment where in a scenario with cars all around and, and turns and curves, I enjoyed the experience. And it was just a good reminder that like some things that we, some things surprise us. One, we can actually improve. We can get better. Things get easier easier if we do them. They can be less, we can be less afraid. They can be less anxiety provoking. And we can even maybe enjoy something we never thought we would if we stick with it. We just got to have sometimes pick what's worth sticking with it. So I'm glad I did it. Uh, I feel like it'll make me a more comfortable driver. I do feel a tad nervous in my Honda Fit though, because I feel like I, I could get tr in trouble in a small little Honda Fit and I wasn't going to get in much trouble. I wasn't going to get in trouble in the RV. Someone might, but not me. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Three minutes, eight seconds. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Feel good. And as always, keep moving.